Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my top seven, seven eyeshadow palettes. The reason why I chose seven is because that's basically the eyeshadow palettes or most of the eyeshadow palettes that I've got in my makeup collection at the minute. Basically what I tend to do is kind of use my eyeshadow palettes for like a year or two and then if I don't like something after a while or if I'm just not using it as much then I will hand it over to my mum. So my mum does have, you know, a lot more palettes than me now because she's had what I've handed down to her. So I am just going to talk about each eyeshadow palette, why I like it, my favourite shades in there and whether I think it's kind of worth the money, also my like least favourite shades in each palette. So that's what this video is, so hopefully you like it and let's get on into the video. So eyeshadow palette number one, there's no order to these by the way. This is the Morphe, I think it's the Morphe 39A palette, I'm not entirely sure, oh yeah, no it is, it says on the back. This is the Morphe 39A palette and basically it is one of like Morphe's like really big palettes they always have big palettes like this one they do have slightly smaller ones as well but this is obviously one of their bigger ones it has a variety of different shades and the reason why I really like this palette is because it's got its transition shades kind of through the center of the palette so you can like do like a really subtle smoky eye with these shades or just kind of use them as transitions or you've got like different colors around the outside so here is kind of like more brownie shades darker shades some cool tone shades that sometimes I like to use over here you've got kind of like purpley shades and ready shades and then down here you've got some greens and then over here you've got some blues I would say personally my favorite shades in this palette is this red one which I'm wearing on my eyes today what I like to do when I use kind of like block colours is I like to do like an ombre effect on my eyes so I start off with a really light shade in the inner corner and then I work out with that kind of block colour in the outer corner so I really like this ready shade that I've used on my eyes today. I also use the greeny shades quite a lot surprisingly. Green actually is a really nice colour to use in your eyes. Again I do an ombre effect with the green as well and this shade in the corner is so nice. I don't know they, they don't have names but yeah I just love that shade that's really nice everything about this palette is really good it's got its transition shades it's got colors and it's got warm tones cool tones and it's also got a black in the corner to kind of deepen up the look which is what I always look for in a palette my least favorite shades are definitely the blue shades because they're the ones that I don't really reach for as much but that's because that's my personal taste and that's not necessarily what I reach for in an eyeshadow palette especially shades like this one but it still would look really nice like if I put like a really pale white on the inner corner and then on the outer corner used a blue that would look really nice and that's what I would really go for overall would I recommend this palette yes the only thing I would like to have in this palette is maybe like a white shade like a pure white shade and I think yeah that's it I think maybe they did overdo it a little bit too much with this middle row maybe there's too many kind of similar shades on the middle row and there is quite a lot of browns in here they could have included a lot more different colors but overall I do really like this palette and I would probably rate it a 7 out of 10 would I recommend yes and also probably should talk about the pigmentation of the eyeshadows and the quality of them pigmentation of the eyeshadows is really really good with this palette and fallout there's not really much fallout or anything like that this is a really good palette good quality for your money you will get some really good eyeshadows so I would recommend this palette and any other palettes that Morphe do that's just the only one that I personally have I am sincerely hoping that I am in focus in this video also if my face looks really dewy it's because it's really really warm and I've had to close the windows so that you can't hear the background noise even though you can still hear the traffic because it's so loud anyway but you know we can get through this so the next palette again like i said there's no order to this video is this one from revolution i have a lot of revolution eyeshadow palettes i love them i think revolution is such an underrated makeup brand like literally all of their makeup is so good there's probably like one or two products that's you know not the best but overall like everything is so good and for the price I would highly recommend so this palette is one of my favorites I've had it for a long time I have a feeling that my friend Steph has got had got me this in the past 
like a few years ago i know that she's got me another one in here but yeah i'm not sure about this one but i think she did get me this one as well because usually she'll say oh what do you want for christmas and i would say a palette like this because i just love eyeshadow so much this is the revolution reloaded passion for color palette and basically most of the shades in here are shimmers apart from two matte shades so this to me is more of like a colorful eyeshadow palette and it's if you just want to add a little bit of color to your look you've got purples you've got blues greens and orangey tones and the two matte shades are here and here which is an orangey shade and like a ready shade and what i tend to do is make like again an ombre look on the eye so for example if i was going to do like a greeny look i would probably start off with a lighter green in the inner corner of the eye go in with a little bit of this kind of slightly darker green and then kind of just make it a little bit darker with this one and then this one and then on the absolute kind of like outer outer corner i actually use these matte shades so it's like a green look with a little bit of like a ready color and that looks really really nice and i just love doing that so yeah this is kind of more like a shimmery color eyeshadow palette the only kind of downside to this palette is obviously that it doesn't have any more matte shades in it it is very much focused on shimmers but i think that is like the aim of the palette is that it's meant for color it is called passion for color it's there to kind of give you like pigmentation in terms of shimmery colors so that's just the purpose of this eyeshadow palette it's not really its purpose is not to kind of be you know an all-around eyeshadow palette where you've got your transitions mattes everything like that like its specific purpose is color my favorite shades in here are the green ones that i've just shown you and also the two matte shades i love them pigmentation is very strong very very strong really really love the pigmentation of these palettes slight bit of fallout but that's kind of expected when it comes to palettes from revolution because obviously they are a little bit cheaper but I don't care about fallout because I just wipe it away. So yeah, I love this palette. I would give this a solid 8.5 out of 10. Would I recommend it? Yes, it's probably not been sold now, but I'm just going to talk about why I like it anyway because I want to. So next one is another one from Revolution. It's slightly different though because this is in collaboration with a YouTuber. This is in collaboration with Soph. Her channel used to be called Soph Does Nails. I've watched her for years, but it's now called Soap Does Life because she doesn't do nails anymore. So that kind of makes sense. But she makes a lot of makeup related videos and she did a collaboration with Revolution a couple of years ago now, probably, or maybe even more than that because I've definitely had this palette for a long time. But yeah, this is the Extra Spice Eyeshadow Palette. This is the second collaboration that she did. I do also have her other palette that she collaborated with first, but this is the one I've reached for looking at it. As you can see, quite a few of the shades I have used quite a lot and I'm hitting pan on a few shades which is obviously good well is it good it's good because it means I used it but it's bad because it means that I'm running out anyway so I literally use every single shade in this eyeshadow palette it's got like honestly I reach for this so much this is probably one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes the pigmentation of the shades are really good I would say as time goes on the pigmentation does like decrease a little bit and I think that's sorry there's a random piece of hair goes on the pigmentation does decrease a little bit and you know that's just that kind of natural as they get older and also it is like a more cheaper brand rather than a higher end brand but the shades that i love the most is this kind of like paley like shimmery shade this shade called infinity which is what i've got on the inner corner of my eyes today i just like to use those two shades to kind of highlight the inner corner oh yeah that was the shade every day by the way i also really like these two shades here this one is called chocolate orange i love this one here and then i also love cheesecake as well they're just kind of like really nice brownie shades it has a black in here as well so it's got your transition shade because it's got the shade cookie dough which is a transition shade and then it's got the shade reputation which is a black I always in my videos in the past like well over a year ago now used to say that it was a blue shade because to me looking at that shade in comparison to the rest of the palette it looks and comes across blue but it's actually a black so there we go the only thing that this is missing is probably like again a white shade or maybe a couple more transition shades but overall I love this palette and I would give this a 9 out of 10 would highly recommend so just to kind of following on from that one this is the first collaboration that Soph did with Revolution by the way these palettes are only £10 and for £10 you're getting so many shades the quality is really good colours are really good I love them this one is broken 
because I've used it so much. But this is the Revolution XO palette. I don't think it's kind of called anything. It just says ultra eyeshadows on the front. But basically it has a mirror. Always good when an eyeshadow palette has a mirror because it means that if you're traveling or if you're going anywhere where you have like limited space to put things, you don't need to take a mirror with you because you've got one. Obviously this is not very clean, but what can you do when you can't be bothered to clean it um this is what it looks like this is also one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes it's not been used quite as much as the other one that i just shown um but this one is still just as good it's got the white shade in the corner it's got all the transition shades which i love about it which is probably why she didn't include these shades in the next palette that i showed you before um because she'd already included it in this palette you've got kind of darker browns to like deepen up the look again a black in the corner my favorite shade I really like is this green here in the corner. I also like the pinky shade, which is here. I like this red shade here. That's a really nice shade. And then there's a really interesting shade in the middle, this one here. I think it's called Petrol, and it genuinely looks like Petrol. Basically, when it shines in the light, it looks like blue in the palette, and on your lid, it sometimes looks like blue, but in the light, when it hits, it will also look brown. So it's like a brownie shade. It's hard to show you because it's hard to show you but just believe me please quality of these eyeshadows are so nice i think the only ones that i don't necessarily reach for probably is these two coppery shades down here because they don't really have high enough pigmentation i don't know why they're just a bit different also there's three golds in a line here and i don't think she necessarily needed to put three golds in a row you know we only really need one or two maximum we don't need three so yeah that's kind of the only downfall but i still use those shades and i can still work with them and still really like the palette so you can probably tell i like it because i've broken it so that means i've used it a lot basically and it's traveled with me a lot but yeah i would rate this palette an 8.5 out of 10 and i would definitely recommend this palette it is still available and so is the other one that i've shown as well Next up, we've got a little bit more of a higher end, more expensive palette. I think this was like 40 pounds or something. It was a gift from an ex-boyfriend, but this is the Naked Heat palette. This is the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I really wanted this. This is just a palette for people that love warm toned eyeshadows. I like warm tones and I also like cool tones. So I just like any eyeshadows. I can just use anything, but this is what it looks like now when you have a lot of cheaper kind of eyeshadow palettes like me which i still love cheaper eyeshadow palettes because they still work just um as fine and you know just as good and you can still get the same results if you you know put a little bit more effort in but when it comes to high-end eyeshadows you can tell the difference completely the fallout is so much less the pigmentation is higher the shimmers feel really buttery and just so like nice and pressed and you only need to dab your kind of eyeshadow brush slightly into the palette to actually get any product onto the brush and i just absolutely love that and yet yeah, you can tell a complete difference between lower end eyeshadows and higher end eyeshadows but like i said if it's worth the money and it's cheap buy it because it's still good it's just quality wise you can tell the difference the good thing about this palette is that every shade can be used alone really especially the matte shades you can just use it on its own as like a quick do it and go kind of thing they have the neutral shades down here and then some more kind of you know it works its way up to the darker shades. so it starts light and works its way up it's got more kind of warmer warmer toned shades it's got more of an ashy tone here like an ashy purple and yeah it has one two three four shimmers in here so i actually think i prefer a palette that has more mattes to shimmers because you shouldn't really or you can if you want to but it's not recommended to put shimmery eyeshadows in the crease of your eyelid because you are meant to be using matte shades in the crease because the crease is meant to be a shadow and therefore you shouldn't really be putting a shimmer in a shadow area but again do whatever you want it doesn't really matter but I just prefer that myself and yeah I really like these the quality of the eyeshadows are amazing and this is a palette that I reach for quite a quite a lot especially if I just want something quick because it doesn't take much blending because it's just such a good palette I would rate this palette a good 9.5 out of 10 if you love warm toned eyeshadows then it's a 10 out of 10 but for me it's a 9.5 out of 10 I would um, highly recommend if you like kind of more higher quality products so yeah i love this and i will forever keep that because it will last me forever because eyeshadows just 
always do. I'm happy to buy eyeshadow palettes because I know that they will last me forever and I know that if I, you know, get bored of the eyeshadow palette or I don't want it anymore or I don't think I need it, then I can just pass it on to somebody else or I can pass it on to my mum. Like I would never throw an eyeshadow palette out unless it broke and got water on it or something, which it hasn't. Nothing's done that yet. So the next palette is also from Revolution. So this is the third Revolution palette. This is the last one as well, don't worry. Um, but this is the Foil Frenzy creation intensely pigmented foil eyeshadow palette so this is just an absolute staple in your kind of eyeshadow palette collection you can have every sort of different eyeshadow palette in your collection that's got mattes shimmers everything like that and it's kind of a normal palette with normal colors whereas this is different this is foiled eyeshadows it's more pigmented it's kind of like that like really shiny sort of metallic sheen it's not the kind of eyeshadow that you can apply using like a fluffy brush it has to be used either with like a flat brush or your finger would work best because it is so kind of soft like it's like a cream like you literally press your finger in and it's a really creamy texture it's almost like putty yeah that's why these are so pigmented and so nice and so shimmery again Steph got me this because I did ask for it and I'm obsessed with this I use this daily this is the kind of thing like I said it's a staple in your collection because it goes with other palettes for example, if I was to do like an eyeshadow look like the one I've done today, I could easily go over the top of those eyeshadows with a little bit of this like white shade in the inner corner just to kind of amplify that. Or I could go in with a little bit of this kind of red shade to amplify that red that I've done. It just kind of adds that like, little extra sheen to your look and the pigmentation is crazy colors in here it's got some more kind of paler colors which are really really nice to kind of make an ombre effect it's then got a greeny here which i love to use that green and then there is also um some pinky shades and then a black the only thing i dislike about this palette or the only thing i don't necessarily use is this kind of black shade down here i don't tend to go and use a black shimmer shade i will just use a matte black if i'm gonna use a black i would just use a matte one so for me that's not really something that i necessarily use but i try to you know i always try and use as many um, sort of eyeshadows as possible and also looking at it i can tell that i haven't really used this yellow shade here so maybe that's something i need to kind of play around with a little bit more this is a 10 out of 10 by far this is probably one of my favorite things i have in my kind of makeup collection because it just makes a massive difference to your makeup especially if you like going on nights out or something like that or for drinks it just makes a massive massive difference so yeah i really like this and i would recommend completely and i think it was a tenner i'm not sure um but i'm pretty sure it was so yeah would recommend quality amazing and not much more i can say about that finally this is another what i would call staple eyeshadow palette to have in your collection this is from amazon it's the beauty glazed pressed glitter palette i think this was less than a tenner i don't know what it was it was like five pounds or something i just picked it up glitter eyeshadows so like i said you've got your normal eyeshadows and your normal palettes and your mattes and your shimmers this is like glitter so these again can't be used with a fluffy brush you have to use your finger really because otherwise it's just not gonna like this is the kind of product which is pure glitter you have to press it onto your eyelids you can't just swipe it on it has to be pressed on and packed on to get that pigmentation the only downside to this palette is that the glitter can run down your face so i'd recommend doing your eyeshadow before doing your base so that you don't get kind of fallout into your foundation i always do my eyes first anyway because i always do kind of like intricate intricate eyeshadow but yeah i really really love this for nights out this is amazing it just looks so shimmery so glittery and i'll probably try and use this in my next video to kind of show you what it looks like but I really, really am obsessed with this and every shade I use. The only shade that I probably don't really like is this blue one because I just don't know when the heck to use it basically. But yeah, this is definitely a staple to have. It just, if you, you know, are the kind of person that likes to wear like eyeshadow like me every day and you like to experiment every day, then this is like my everyday look. If I'm gonna go on a night out, then I will add glitter like this to amplify that. So that's kind of what this is there for. Um, quality is good. It was only a cheap palette, so I don't expect amazing things. But yeah, I really love this. And it says on the back that it lasts two years. So that's quite good because a lot of the eyeshadow palettes that I've looked at and seen say they last 12 months. Oh, actually, the Urban Decay one says it lasts two years. Sorry, my camera just turned off because I was speaking for so long. Also, 
rating this one out of 10, I would rate it a, I want to give it a 10 out of 10, but I think I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, but realistically, I want to give it a 10 out of 10, but you know. So that is everything in my eyeshadow palette collection. I keep my eyeshadow palettes in this kind of little container here, just to kind of, you know, keep them in there. I just, I've had other eyeshadow palettes in the past, like I said, and I passed them on to my mum. So this is like the edited down collection. These are my favourites. I will only keep my favourites if I don't like something, I will just pass it along. Or if I don't use something as much, I will pass it along. So my favourite favourites are, I would say, what I really kind of reach for the most as an everyday eyeshadow palette is this Soph X Revolution Extra Spice palette. This is the one that I reach for daily or if I'm gonna take with me to travel. And then these two are my um, also favorites because they're both staple things to have in your collection that you can grab whenever, so I love those. My least favorite eyeshadow palette. I would actually say that my Morphe one is my least favorite one because for me, the shades are quite similar. Quite a lot of the shades are quite similar. It's quite a bulky palette. There's no mirror. It's very big. You can't really travel with it. And yeah, a lot of the shades are taken up as transition shades and as brown shades. And the blue ones I don't really use. So I would say this is my least favorite one, but I still really love this. So I'm still gonna keep it, but it is out of all of these, my least favorite one. So that is everything in my eyeshadow palette collection slash my top seven eyeshadow palettes. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. It has been quite a long one and my voice is really hurting now. I need some water. I'm gonna go water I should probably end this video first. Make sure to drink your water. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.